That sound should be recorded on a loop and it should be a sleep aid, a sleep aid option on an app. Nursing puppies. I don't know if they're getting any milk at this age. June 30th, I don't know what they are. Eight weeks, seven, something like that. Hi. That's a big male. That's another male. Silver muzzle and the black muzzle. And then the black coat. Those are the three males. Females is that blue female. The black muzzle, matching pair. And then a blue muzzled female. So that's pretty easy to keep track of. Yeah, that's pretty easy. You're a blue muzzled female. Ow, ow. ow. These guys will start leaving next weekend, which was 4th of July weekend. I think that's the 6th and 7th. Yeah. Yeah, hi. Hi. Yeah, I like you. I like you. Yeah. I like you. That's why you want to go um, let big <laughs> let big nanigans in. Sure. Why not? It'll jazz up our video. That's the sire. <clears throat> There's the dam. If you're not familiar with the program, she's 62.5 percent boorable. Boorable being our breed of choice as a low prey drive mastiff to mix with livestock guardian dogs to make them less independent, more obedient, etc. Um, she's also got 12.5% Congo, 12.5% Dogo, 12.5% Dane. The sire, who you're about to see, is 25% Borwell, 25% Congo, 25% Alibi, or Central Asian Shepherd, and 25% Malafi, and this mom's pretty hard on him, <laughs> historically, when he comes in her pen. We'll see if she's gonna be better now. He knows he's like, giving her a wide berth. What's up, buddy? What's up? I think Nanny is, oops, I'm trying to get out of zone. Oh, zoom, zoom, zoom. You gonna be a bitch today or what? This guy's blowing coat. If you're not familiar with breeds like this, they do it all at once. They don't shed like short hairs. They blow coat in chunks and get it over with. He's a tall guy. 32, maybe, the shoulder. So this is our farm and ranch dog. We do two things, basically, at this juncture. The road dog and the farm and ranch dog. We have road dogs also, but this isn't about them. At the risk of repeating myself, a pure livestock guardian dog is really more independence than most people need, and there are downsides to it. All you really need your livestock guardian dog to do, most people that aren't running thousands of head and thousands of acres, is not kill your stuff. And <clears throat> that come, that's the hard part, right? They're all going to defend their territory. They're all going to get after threats for the most part. That's not a challenge. But livestock guardian dogs um, have this, this tendency to sort of nurture everything that they grew up with. So low prey drive is part of that. So borbles will do it too. Enough talk. If you're new, please visit the website <laughs> www.olympicdogs.net. That is not sure footing there that, that he's on. We have three males and three females. In this. this is one of the males. What's up, brother? What's up? And this is a blue female. Of interesting colors there. Got a couple fawns with black masks, one male, one female. There they are, side by side. 
And then we have a couple that are sort of dun colored with silver muzzles, like blue. One male, one female under there. Oh, ow. Somebody's gonna get stepped on there. We're not careful. You see the sire is very, he's, he's a gentle soul. He's all about guarding, but he's, he's a sweet dog. His daddy was a great dog, shenanigans. And his mom is biggin. If you follow the program, you know her. There she is, lurking. Always lurking wherever there's new puppies. She's a giant dog. She's 160 pound, legit 160 pound female. And she loves everybody's puppies, so she gets to be the sort of, uh, <laughs> what do we call her? Look at he see he's got some of that. He likes puppies too. She likes everybody's puppies. Most females like their puppies and nobody else's puppies. Biggin likes everybody's puppies, and I have a feeling he would like everybody's puppies too. She she's lighting it up on him a little bit. She she nailed him in one of our earlier videos. She hit him like a strong safety, and rolled him over just for being in this pen. So I'm gonna give a little more time on these for those that are oh, choosing. Did, that? Oh, did he jump up? <laughs> yeah. He's got no good footing to do that, huh? He wants he's getting nervous about you holding it or he's <laughs> jealous. I can't tell which. Oh she's not so sure about him. She may go off on him. Watch your step. They're not as good on the wood like goats. Yeah, they don't have that sure-footedness. That's the thing with dogs. They'll knock over stuff with their feet, too. They're not soccer players. They'll step on your heels. They'll knock their food dishes over. They'll make graceful moves like that. They're not really that good with their feet. Anyway, if you want to learn more about what we do, why, and how long, and all that, Please visit the website, www.olympicdogs.net. These guys are pretty easy to keep track of. We've got a matching set of each color except for the black and the blue. Yes. This is Sister Big Bone. And Big Nanigans. There it is.